BNP Chief Ronald De La Rosa says the police is now on terror alert level 3. De La Rosa made the announcement as he presented two suspects in the alleged attempt to plant an improvised explosive device or IED near the United States Embassy in Manila. He says checkpoints around the country, which President Rodrigo Duterte had earlier ordered removed, will be restored. The country is still under a state of national emergency following the Davao City blast. The Maute terror group is believed responsible for the explosion that killed 15. The IED discovered along Rojas Boulevard was reportedly the same as the one used in the Davao blast. Aside from checkpoints, police will also be conducting raids on, quote, layers of suspected terror groups. But Senator Laila de Lima warns the public to be vigilant after the Philippine National Police announced it is on terror alert level 3. She says that the Duterte administration is capable of lying and deceiving Filipinos. Philippine National Police Chief Ronald De La Rosa reveals it was his compare or friend who had asked him to reinstate controversial police official Marvin Marcos. De La Rosa earlier said he relieved Marcos because of supposed links to the illegal drugs trade. But he changed his mind following a call from a higher up whom he did not name. De La Rosa downplayed his friend's influence saying he was not that influential. He adds it is his job to balance disciplinary action and compassion toward his men. Marcos led an operation to serve a search warrant on Mayor Espinosa inside a Baybay City jail cell on November 5. The mayor, who reportedly fired at the police, was killed. Some senators tagged the incident a clear case of extrajudicial killing. Governments Oplan Tukhang, an important component of the war against drugs, had migrated online in the form of Oplan Cyber Tokhang. A newsbreak investigative story found that the term was coined by netizens who called themselves Duterte Cyber Warriors. A leader of the group and a staunch Duterte supporter released a video declaring a social media war against the Yellow Army. The group's purpose is two-pronged, to attack those who are supposedly spreading false information online and two, to engage in hacking and social engineering. The group's page was taken down by Facebook evening of Tuesday, November 29. Crown Prince Maha Wachiralongkorn will be proclaimed the new king of Thailand Thursday. Wachiralong Korn, 64, inherits one of the world's richest monarchies as well as a politically troubled nation. He will be named Rama X of Thailand's Chakli dynasty. King Pumipon's reign spanned seven decades and was seen as the only consistent force in a politically combustible country. The son does not yet enjoy the same level of popularity as his father. Wachiralong Korn spent much of his time in Germany where he owns property. He's had three high-profile divorces, with his last wife's family linked to a corruption scandal. Thailand's lace majesty laws are very harsh, carrying up to 15 years in jail for every offense. Google confirms 1.3 million accounts have been compromised due to an ongoing hacking campaign that experts have labeled Gooligan. First to report it, cybersecurity firm Checkpoint says the hackers were able to gain access by infecting Android phones through illegitimate apps. Checkpoint says Gooligan affects Android 4 and 5 devices, which comprise 74% of devices being sold today, with 13,000 new infections every day. 57% of the infected devices are located in Asia, while 19% are in the Americas. These illegitimate apps were downloaded from unofficial app stores that offer free alternatives to paid apps on the Google Play Store. The hackers were able to harvest digital security tokens from the infected phones, giving them potential access to photos and emails. But Google says hackers have not yet tapped that information and stolen it. The Gooligan malware has been known to install malicious advertising software that harvests user data.